area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. What it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat because we got to speak. Salute to every one of y'all, whether you watch this content religiously or in passing. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, and everybody out there. You know, I hope all is well. Um, before we even start this one, I just want to tell y'all, you know, make sure y'all sending prayers up and well wishes to 40 Cal. If you haven't heard, 40 Cal's daughter, Sanaya Dennis. A student at Buffalo State University disappeared 10 days ago. You know, she was a, a honor, she is an honor roll student. She was attending the university. She left her dorm room, was last seen going in the elevator, and has disappeared. And they've been doing searches. They tried to get the mayor involved. I don't know what's going on because 40 Cal basically called out the mayor on his Instagram saying, Yo, like, my daughter is missing. They haven't really responded. They actually cut the comments off on their Instagram, Mayor um, Byron Brown or whatever his name is. Um, it's just crazy. I hope all is well and I hope 40 Cal finds his daughter, you know what I'm saying? So before we even start, make sure. And as a father, you know what I'm saying? As a father, any father out there will be in the same position doing the same thing they could because that's their child, you know what I'm saying? Like So my heart and my thoughts and prayers are with 40 Cal at this time. Um, so, you know, Let's get into what we get into, shing shing on the menu. So, it's been a lot of talk about Cassidy, you know what I'm saying? Now, the talk is that I see is Cassidy versus Conceited. Like it actually, somebody actually sent me this screenshot, you know, people is talking about it, talking about it, or whatever the case may be. Now, I will say this, um, Cassidy came back to Battle Rap, and when he came back, he brought the energy, you know what I'm saying? His interview started doing crazy numbers. Uh, you know, his battles was doing crazy numbers. And I felt like, and I feel like it took a while. It took a little adjustment period. I was critical on Cassidy, I'm not going to lie, because I'm like, yo, I remember him from the High 97 Freestyles, the the the, the Rough Riders um, albums, you know, when he was on the Cypher joints. Uh, I got a mean stash. You seen Cass get his thug on to strip my chick. We kiss and get our hug on. She who I put the drugs on and put the snub on. And next time you get in your ride, put the club on. Like, I remember all of those freestyles. So, I, I expected a high level from him when he originally came back. And, you know, he did his thing, but it really was, like, few and far in between. Like, his battle with goods, he had a round, and then the rest of the battle kind of fell flat. Arsenal, that battle really wasn't like that either. Hitman, he found his groove. First round, he was wild and he did his thing. To me, I felt like his first round versus Hitman was his best round in battle rap. However you feel about the battle after that is your personal opinion, but with what Cassidy has been able to do since the battle, it really looks and feels like he got it because not only did he bring a bunch of battle rappers together, now he's starting a league. It looks like he's starting a league. He's been talking about starting his own league. And Cassidy was one that a lot of people wanted to know whether or not it was a money grab thing or if this was something that he was genuinely due to elevate and um, lift the battle rap culture up. And now it looks like that. I mean, he got a bunch of battle rappers together. Easy to block Captain Murder, Move, T Rex, Gigi Gotti, Daylight. All these people was together. Mickey Fax was there, so he's getting huge, heavy cosigns. And I must say that even though in the beginning I didn't know which direction Cassidy was going, it does look like he's doing something that's genuine and it looks like he's trying to give back. Like he, he said, but you know what? A lot of the shit that's coming to fruition right now with what he's doing is a lot of the things that he said he was going to do. And often when battle rappers come back from like being in the industry and things like that, when they come to the battle rap, it looks like they say they're going to do all this. Stuff. I'm going to start a league. I'm going to do all of this. I'm going to elevate the culture. They just come to get their money and they get on their way. But what it looks like what Cassidy is doing is he's providing opportunity. The media is eating. The people doing huge numbers interviewing them. You know what I'm saying? He's And now if he provides a whole platform to continue to build, grow, and develop battle rappers, like you can't really hate. Like even if... People were considered hating on him. With what he's doing right now, you can't really hate. 
you it's, it's almost impossible like you watching the moves that he's and the thing is he said he was going to do it and he's setting out to do it you know what i'm saying like he said he was the energy he said he was the power he's, he's overcharging niggas for what they did to the cold crush i've been hearing crazy numbers i've been hearing crazy numbers about what people talking about for him to come back they say Cass wants a million, a million, a million, a million, a million, a million. If that is the case, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I have not heard that. But with what he's able to do and the views that he's bringing in, he's going to be able to ask for a lot of money because you got to think. He did a battle on Rare Breed Entertainment versus Hitman Hollow, who does do big numbers in his own right. But three million in less than a week? Ain't nobody really doing no numbers like that. Nah, not without cast. Not without, and mind you, already had a pay-per-view. Already came out on the pay-per-view and mad bootlegs and all of that. And he comes out and does three million in the first week. Yes, I said Hitman Holler was involved because I know a lot of y'all be like, oh, y'all act like Cassidy was battling himself. Listen, Hitman has another battle versus Bill Collector on Rare Breed Entertainment. It's still not at three million years later. So you get what I'm saying. Um, what I will say is when people say Cassidy versus Conceited, I don't think it's going to happen for a number of reasons. And this is the reason why I don't think it's going to happen. Because Conceited now is in a place where battle rapping for him, it's not even really beneficial anymore because he's got himself to a position where he's got millions of followers on the gram. He's doing the wilding out thing. He's became more so of a celebrity, a pseudo celebrity. He hasn't battled in years. And if he did get into that position, I don't think he would be Cassidy right now. And that's crazy. Like I would not pick Conceded to come back to a battle, especially when a lot of his style was predicated off of Cass, like the punchlines back to back to back to back. Everybody compared Conceded to Cass. Everybody did. If he was around for the grind time days, and from when Conceded was rapping outside and all of that, bro, everybody compared him to Cass. Everybody did. That would be his whole angle. Like, whole face-off, whole everything would be, you want to be me. If it wasn't for me, there would be no you. Like, he, Cass would talk to this man so crazy that Conceded would, like, literally go into that battle losing. I don't, I don't feel like, and especially if Cassidy books it on his own lead. I don't think, like, and, and the fact that we haven't heard Conceded in so long, except for, like, Wild and Out, and, you know, we don't really count, you don't count Wild and Out, there's no battles, that's all scripted, it's like fucking, uh, what is this shit, uh, Harlem Globetrotters, it's like Harlem Globetrotters, they do the same show every day, so, I mean, no, that's not gonna count, um, but, I mean, I'm sure it could happen, because Conceded, if he wants to get that bag, and I know Cassidy is a person that he probably always idolized, and maybe wanted to battle, but I always looked at Conceded coming back to battle rap as a mitigated risk. Like people always said they wanted to see him versus Av and all this. I'm like, bro, him jumping in front of Av is like jumping in front of a Mack truck. Do you think he wants to battle Av? I, there's no way. As crazy as Av gets, Conceded would have got smoked. He would have got washed up. There's no way that he would have came back for a battle like that. Something like a uh, Cassidy could possibly happen because it's a novelty battle. It's one of those battles where it's going to do a whole bunch of views. Like, shit, if Hitman did a bunch of views, Conceited is bigger on Wildin' Out than Hitman is. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and, and that's not saying a lot because they both big on Wildin' Out, but Conceited is like the one who brought like everybody else there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Conceited was the, was, is, is Wildin' Out. Like, when you think of Wildin' Out, you kind of think of Conceited. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, um, if he brings that out, that's a whole different demographic. That's a whole different kind of money right there. You got to remember when Cass did all his other battles, Cass was battling on other people's leagues. If he does this on his own, he already got the following. The man just show you he can do millions of views on URL. He do millions of views on RBE. He took RBE. RBE don't even have half a million subscribers, and he's got three million, got three million view battle. In no time. And salute to Rare Breed Entertainment, you know what I'm saying? I rock with everything that they got going on. But to have those kind of numbers in that short of a time, that's crazy. I think people was going wild back when Verb battled Mook and it was like, yo, Verb and Mook did a million in a week or two. Cass and Hitman did three, four, three, they hit in the four million in a week. That's 
big, big numbers. So I will say this, although I was kind of skeptical at Cass when he first came in, you know what I'm saying? I am giving him more leeway. I am saying, yo, if this is what you're going to do, I'm not hating. I will definitely not be hating on the moves that he's making. If he's going to continue to battle, he's going to continue to battle. He's going to get better. He's going to learn more. He's hanging around more battle rappers. He's got easy to block captain was down there. Gigi got it. Once you start hanging around it and being around it, because look, we always considered Reed Dollars as like one of the legendary battle rap cats. When Reed Dollars first came back to battle rap, Reed Dollars was not Reed Dollars that he is now. True or false? He was not the Reed Dollars that he is now. He got in his bag, he took a couple hits, and now Reed Dollars gets kind of busy. Y'all know Reed is a monster now, you know what I'm saying? So I think that we should, um, you know, let the let it play out how it must play. You know what I'm saying? Just let the thing play out. We're gonna see. You know what I'm saying? Either Cassidy gonna barbecue or Mill do one of the two. But uh, you know, his first round versus Hitman, he has. <laughs> where was I? Where was I? And like I said, I don't have a, a, a pick in this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if if conceded was to come out and battle. Conceded, if I was conceded, conceded would definitely need some kind of warm-up battle or something before you jump in front of Cass. Because with Cass learning and tuning and, 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 and going trajectory, going upwards, Hitman going to jump in, Cassidy going to jump in front, conceded will jump in front of that. And it probably won't go good for him. Yeah, I know you could probably still rap because rapping is like riding a bike, but Cass is, is, is gaining traction. What has conceded done for the battle rap community since conceded really got famous? Like, what has he done? I'll wait. Gone.